northern lower Michigan. An area of high pressure will remain entrenched over the area tonight, maintaining mild and dry conditions over the Great Lakes through the first half of Friday. However, a weak storm system will then push across the northern plains and Great Lakes this weekend, generating the chance for showers through early Sunday. Next week, an upper trough will deepen over the west coast, while the large area of high... That's what, 6.40 on our quest for coffee in Alpena. There's one coffee shop. Uh, I don't know, it's a ways away from the dock. Uh, for, we don't have any other means to get coffee and uh, we're not sailing without it. Right? No, no, that's for sure a crash. That should happen. <laughs> yeah, not much wind this morning, but it's starting to pick up a little bit according to the American flag out here. Uh, so we're just. There's a little bit of fog out too. And according to all those spooky stories we listened to yesterday, I don't want to sail in fog. Right. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Well, we're now leaving Thunder Bay. Uh, with a beautiful sunrise. Got a little bit of a time lapse of that. Uh, had to cut it short, unfortunately. There is zero wind out here, but there's waves for some reason. But it's beautiful. beautiful. Way better than when we came in. Yeah. We're hoping to catch a breeze here in a little bit and get the sails up and head, head south. Yesterday was very, very rough. Uh, wind was on our nose, so we had a south wind. That's where we were headed. Actually, a southeast wind. It's coming from Canada. And the whole day it was just beating us, and it didn't seem like we were getting very far. And uh, while we were doing all that, um, I have a little bit of video of the waves, but the main started ripping out, so we tried to tie it down and get it secured. And after that, uh, the halyard came loose somehow, so it's up at the top of the mast, and we had to take the main down, and uh, I thought we were screwed then, but we were able to use the motor, and we could see the marina, and snake our way in. And then, <laughs> when we got tied off, the guy said, I almost hit a rocky shoal, too, so yesterday was, uh, it was a lot of work. So, we're looking at this, the weather today and it looks like the winds are going to be damn near the same way now we don't have the main which the boat won't go into the wind without it um let me set this on some it kind of needs both sails or at least the main with just the uh with just the jib it won't actually sail into the wind very well at all uh it's, I don't know, it's called weather helm or whatever. I can't control it. Uh, so we're looking at the weather and kind of waking up and deciding what we're going to do from here. We're either going to leave it here in Harrisville and have to come back later after we get a main, or I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. I didn't do too good yesterday. <laughs> We did, At all. Get, we did get rid of the, not rid of, but we got the kids a ride. We have the car out here, so we're prepared to leave the boat. It's just, and I guess it's more a money thing, but it was, it sucks to leave a boat somewhere and have to pay 
to have it at one dock when you have a dock paid for already, which is a day's sail away. But uh, I think we're pretty crippled. I'm not sure that the boat can even handle another day of getting beat like that. Um, so, but you already said you're willing to do whatever. So if we're going to go back out there, the captain says we'll do it. But I don't know if captain thinks it's a good idea either. So I think we're going to have some coffee and figure this out. Well, it's now two o'clock, and uh, we've decided a long time ago that we're we're not gonna go ahead and try to get to Tawas. Um, but the weather has been beautiful all day, and there's no waves out there at all, so maybe we should have. But it's too late now, so we went and found a pizza. Little ducky. And uh, they're having a fish fry tonight, and bringing a uh, having a potluck. So we're gonna hang out and do that, and then try to leave about three or four in the morning and we got lots of gas so there won't be much wind it's usually when it dies off around I don't know eight o'clock at night or so so we'll get a couple hours rest and then we'll just get up early and we'll motor to uh to Tawas and then assess the damages from there and uh be able to come up at our leisure rather than paying $35 a day so uh yeah Harrisville Harbor is definitely a really nice place, but it is a bit expensive. I guess you get what you pay for. Um, there's really nowhere to tie out or anything anywhere close, so. Uh, but people are great. Steve is awesome. Uh, his deckhands are nice, and everybody here is nice, so. It's definitely clean, a good place to have a shower and well, a shave. I don't shave. know if we really know how much it would be at another harbor. Well, I mean, the other one, Thunder Bay, is like 20 25, 25 bucks so okay. that's usually the going rate so okay. 32 dollars instead is, is a bit, a bit express you know expensive but it's fine their so. yearly rate is awesome yeah here definitely anywhere it seems like you want to pay for the year rather than the day or the month so but uh yeah we'll touch back when we get out on the water <laughs> Hopefully we can be heard okay over the motor, but uh, we've been motoring since, what, four, a little after four. Uh, started off in the fog, and actually we got a little ways away, we could still almost see the marina, and the motor stopped. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but I choked it and it took back off again, and then it's been going since then, so. That works for us. Knock it out of my wooden uh, case here. But yeah, then you know the, the, it's a full moon, so we got going, and the moon was great. And then all of a sudden, we went into the fog. And it was Scooby Doo creepy. That's the only way I can explain it. I was waiting for the big ship and the old man with the lantern, and going back into the fog again, actually. The sun's trying to peek out of the top of the clouds. We can see the sky, but the fog is sitting on the water since the water's so warm. But uh, yeah, we got in the fog a little bit, and I turned around behind me, and there was this glow that I think we're gonna call it a, what, a moon? A moon rainbow. Moon rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, the moon was reflecting off the, off the water and bouncing back up and making this really big. It was a rainbow. White hazy, creepy rainbow. No, no colors, just white. And the water had like a, I don't know if it was a fog, but it was white over top of it. And then it would just stop and then it'd be these circles of just ripples. Yeah. And it's so creepy and crazy and beautiful. It almost night. looked like someone pulled the drain plug and we were just gonna go over the edge. Yeah. Nothing, but it's just the wind. Into a cloud, we weren't sure if we were ever going to come out. If yeah. it was like the Bermuda Triangle, but we could see it, and we just <laughs> no choice. Right. It's but uh, cool. we're, we're almost to our halfway point. Uh, Moscoto will be halfway. Here comes the sun. I just oh. saw it peek out coming out of the fog. Uh, we should be there around 11 or so. Uh, very very calm out here. 
surprising it's even the same lake. But zero wind. We do we like have to stay zero wind until we get yeah. to our dock. Well, you know, we do have the jib if need be, so we do have a plan B still. I could probably rig up the uh, the halyard for the jib. I could probably somehow put it on the main if I really had to, but that's the last resort. seeing that lighthouse at the end of Tawas Point. We haven't figured out what we're going to do yet. We'd like to be able to find another main, so we keep Dragonfly in the water in Tawas, because sailing around there and going out to the lighthouse to the sandbar and anchoring out and snorkeling and all that, but we're not sure if we're going to do big waters with this boat again. Yeah, it needs to uh, at least needs to be taken out and looked over really good. A lot of love. I, I found another main on Craigslist, but uh, I've got to decide if it's going to fit, and I might have to do some modifications to it. So this one will probably work fine for just tootling around there, and if it tears more, you know, whatever, we'll put some more tape on it. Uh, I just got to get the halyard down somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. PVC pipe, I'm thinking. But check back in a little bit. We got in. It's we've been here. What time is it now? Probably four o'clock. I don't know. It's uh, it's late. We uh, we got in at ten thirty. Ten or close, yeah. About ten thirty. Left at four. Got in at ten thirty. So it was five and a half hours to get here from Harrisville. Um, my mom was up here shortly after that. Uh, James left us a lovely sign. It said "Welcome back, sailors." We put that inside Dragonfly, um, and. I guess we're sailors now. Yeah, now we're. I think we are. We've been through just about all of it. Didn't hit any rain, but it got all wet. That, that counts. <laughs> um, we, when my mom got here, we took her for a quick sail with our asymmetrical spinnaker, and then we uh, went up and got the car, had some lunch, and not looking forward to going back to work tomorrow. That's for sure. No. Ooh. Big fish right across from us. This is Debbie coming up behind. Say hi, hi Deb. <laughs> AJ's mom. <laughs> she she helped save us. Everybody got to Good save, save us. We're watching, sorry though. Yeah, some people just caught a big old fish over here. I think it's a it's a shark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna end this and we're gonna get back to life. I guess. Well, I figure we'll go back to work and save some money and vacation time for our next adventure. Yeah, Dragonfly is gonna stay here in Tawas and uh, and I don't know, maybe we'll change our mind and take her back out again. But we got to get know. the sails fixed. It was definitely it was definitely a good time. Bye.